No pedal, no gas. All right. Okay, and what uh, level are you? I, am, I have one year left before graduation. Oh, so you're yeah. about to go. Yes. Okay. Hey, guys, what's up? It's your big brother, Saint, here at the LA Auto Show. Now, I have interviewed some people from uh, the Art Center, and I wanted to get a student's perspective, so we have our student here, Ben. How are you Hi doing, everyone. Ben? Yes, I'm doing great. Yeah? Thank you. Now, uh, you're an international student? Yes, I am here on F1 visa, yes. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool, yeah. So, how, what drew you to this school instead of the schools from back home? I see. So, uh, I actually came here um, for high school in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and then I went to East Coast, a school called MICA, Maryland oh, yeah. Institute yeah. College of Arts for Fine Arts. Yeah. And then after Very two years, um, I decided that, hey, I wanted to do something more technical, mm -hmm. and I, you know, you know, I started to get drawn toward you know machines that moves, yeah. and uh, at some point I, I said, "Hey, I want to." I discovered the school. Um, I guess serendipity, you know. Yeah. I, I found the school, and I I, I look into you, the. You were walking in the dark, and you tripped, and you were like, "Hey, art center, right there." It, it's more like I started to like the works of mm. the sketches. Uh, from, from students from previous students but mm. now really cool alums yeah and yeah. i'm gonna have shameless name droppings like do it, um, do it. chris bango mm -hmm. a former bmw person yeah um there's also sid Mead, the concept oh, design futurist he's wonderful he films is, and everything yeah. legit yeah. yeah and then um very important person uh, if somebody's looking at this um they're all watching uh, scott robertson uh, yes, who graduated long time ago yeah uh, had this book called how to draw mm -hmm. and um, because I was in a fine art program um, and not really technical mm -hmm. uh, like experiences was I was able to use book. the book yeah to to really learn how to draw perspective which yeah. you know it, can, it comes in handy it, it, it really it and really he does. has a clear way of defining his shapes Yes. That, yeah, a lot of artists have that, but he conveys it really well. That makes good for students and people look, trying to learn. I started learning perspective in 2017, mm -hmm. which is the time when I decided to come to our center. Okay. And I still use it every day up to early this afternoon. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's when you quit, this afternoon. <laughs> you're like, okay, I don't need it anymore. You threw the Scott Robinson book out and you're gone. I still, I, it's... It's a tool. It's in my precious toolkit. Yeah. My mental okay. Toolkit. Yeah. I learned from Lance Richland, the art of perspective, uh -huh. and also picked up some from Marshall Vandro. Okay. Yeah. Two very great guys out in LA also. Awesome. But uh, so tell me about this program. What uh, what do you get to do in this program? How do you get your hands dirty? How did a team create this? Um, this was, I guess, my first. If I, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I give thanks to the um, bring the, the thanks the sponsored um, team at our center mm. who gathered industry people to come to the school for sponsored projects. Yeah, and in this case, Lincoln um, mm -hmm. came to us, uh, came to um, came to the school and said, "Hey, we would like to." do a sponsored project with you. We would like yeah. to get the best talent to uh, mm -hmm. to see, you know, what your visions of the future uh, of yeah. Lincoln will look like. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe we have, you know, we have illustration students, we have uh, interior students, exterior students, and then we probably, or we also, we, we just have different, um, like majors coming together. You know, we have se several teams. Yeah. And uh, in the span of 14 weeks, it's like how long a semester Wait, is in our center. This was all done in one semester. The design was done, was completed in one semester. And then I believe in the end, uh, when we do presentations yeah. with the sponsor, in this case, Lincoln, um, the head of Lincoln, the design head said, hey, this looks great. We would love to, to make this uh, a full-size phone model. So this came about from Lincoln saying, your work was good enough was better than good enough. It was outstanding. This is um, the designer, the exterior designer for this uh, proposal. Her name is Emmy Taniguchi. Oh, I didn't mean you. I meant like the school. Yes, like, yeah, uh, yeah. but I'd love to share uh, the. Um, it was done by a woman. Uh, her name is Emmy Taniguchi, yeah. and yeah. she is now. She did this in her graduating term. Mm -hmm. 
at, for the class, yeah. and she um, she is now, I believe, a designer for Honda in Japan. Oh, okay. that's where she's from. Yeah. So it's pretty legit, you know, yeah, to yeah, have yeah, your student cool. project uh, yeah. milled out and painted and full size. <laughs> very very nice work. What type of a style of art do you take? I I do I do so many things. Um, I'm into yes, I'm into cars. I'm into architecture. I'm into fashion. I'm, I'm into a lot of you know all over the place. And at the school, does it give you much space to go into all those endeavors, or do they want you to track down onto uh, uh, single uh, talents? Or if you're in the automotive major, mm -hmm. you're just mostly doing that. I see. I, I love the question that you know you had leading up to this one. I, I get it. Um, it depends. I, I really think uh, our center is an open space, mm -hmm. and then it depends on where you come from and what you wanted to get from this education. For some people, they're car designers. They want to get graduate, design a car like this. Yeah. And for some people like me, like I try to maneuver and explore a little within the boundaries yeah. of the curriculum because I still want to graduate. <laughs> yeah. And um, those teachers want those projects. So I um, I was able to take electives. Mm -hmm. You know, we have several electives allowed. Um, you know, I, I believe you know during the whole program. So I took some classes uh, from illustration. Mm -hmm. I took you know, uh, I believe it's called creative drawing. Uh, it's with trying to learn how to draw the human figure, yeah. which is really helpful if... And to do it from memory. Uh, yes, but you have a lot of references. Yeah. You know, I also love to, you know, you know, think about environments mm -hmm. and people. Because yeah. drawing a car, if I were to reference Sid Mead, mm -hmm. um, he used to always say that he always put his car in a scene, in an environment yeah. with people, so yeah. that you understand that it's a natural environment. Mm -hmm. So I'm you, really inspired by Sid. It with the people that would be around. It. Uh, yes, yeah. with the context. Yeah, you know. Exactly. Yeah. And if you have like really cool, you know, futuristic looking people here, then then people will understand this is from the future. Yeah. So I don't don't have to tell them this is 2014. So they did not add like prospect settlers from the 1900s next to this? I, I did, did not understand the oh, <laughs> reference. I'm, I'm making a joke saying that they're pl placing old-timey cowboys in the uh, scene with this futuristic it, car. It, it, if you want to make a, contra a, a contra contrast, uh, that would be great. Okay, yeah. okay, there we go. I'm all about the contrast, people. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, this program is a four-year program? This program is uh, supposedly four-year, yes, uh, which means which four year as in eight semesters yeah. and then what's special about our center is that uh, we have we you can technically do uh, three semesters a year because mm -hmm. we have spring summer as well as fall because okay. like 14 weeks yeah. goes by super fast and for someone who is you know I, I think most people here with our center is very dedicated yeah. um, you know, for someone they can they can finish that degree in three and a half. Oh wow! Yeah, so they but really buckle down. but then the key to me and to many uh, students and my fellow classmates is to have internships, mm -hmm. to have um, some experiences before you graduate. Yeah, and then uh, you know the more internship you have during the. Um, you know, years. when you're still in school, yeah. it's more helpful for you to land you a job. You get to make more uh -uh. mistakes there uh -uh. before it counts. Uh, it, more industry experience. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty nice. Any other uh, factoids you want to give? Any other advice? That was a good one. I don't I was, have. I wanted to ask that question, but then you gave that advice, which is really? very good before. Um, so, wait. Let, let me do this. Sure. But, uh, any other advice you want to give the students? I'm, we'll a student in, we'll I'm, I'm a student too. I'm a I'm a student too. So, um, I, um, you know, I, I know that I have this internal confidence in me, I and know, yeah. and I would say for for anyone who loves, you know, who has a passion for for the creative things, mm -hmm. uh, really, you know, dig into it. You know, have fun with it. That's really important, yeah. and always. It's just cheesy, but it, it served well for me, you know. Uh, always believe in your craft you and um, really try to, 
also expand, you know. I, I know like trying to do something like this is hard and like and it's very easy to get tunnel vision. Yeah. But I would encourage everyone who wants to, you know, do the whole creative thing to open the mind, to look at different references, to look at architecture, to look yeah. at fashion, you know, so many things can inspire like the newness, yeah. you know. Anyway, that's all. There you go. Hey, that was a good amount of stuff. Appreciate it. Sorry, I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm it's, How it's, about this? COVID. There okay. You go. Yeah. <laughs> Look, guys, we got to chat with people from Art Center about the program, what they offer. If you love cars, whether it's electric or gas, you've got to appreciate the art that goes into it. And speaking to artists who are the ones driving it and the next generation of artists and designers that are going to be making it are only going to lead to good things and a better understanding of cars because cars are beautiful whether they're racing or just little compact cars exactly. there is an art that goes to making them and a language behind it so i would like to say my thank you to um, you for showing us this and i look forward to checking out your artwork <laughs> in your book when you come out with one in a few years okay? i appreciate it thank you so much for the opportunity there we go hey, take care again. <laughs> all right Boom. It's your big brother Saint. I'm gonna show you guys some more of the show. We're gonna be out. <laughs> I'm recording. Now we'll just chat for a bit. No Let's problem. take a half step Should back. I?